please help me welcome Patrick back up. What I really wanted to really express everybody, and you might have caught a little sense of it here, is that the physicians I'm blessed to work with are truly my friends. Um, that's probably the first and foremost, the biggest requirement of being part of BodyLogic MD. They're passionate, they're intelligent, they're smart, um, they go through the fellowship program, and they're just wonderful people to be around. And I'm honored myself to even have a chance to work with such great healers. And if it gives physicians the ability to be successful, then so be it. That's a good thing too. So. What do you talk about when you talk about physician requirements? Have to be an MD and DO in a board certified or board eligible field of the AMA. You will have to complete the fellowship for uh, anti-aging regenerative, you know, the uh, FAARM. Module one before you open your practice, module two within six months, and all five modules within two years. The reason is like Jennifer was saying, it's one way of creating a like mind, of a, a like medical mind. These doctors all share the same training, so they're able to share the same aspects. I mean, there's nothing about this business in the medicine that I will ever do to tell you how to practice medicine. You figure out which labs you want, you figure out which scripts you want, you figure out which supplements you want, you figure out the frequency of visits. This is your job, your medicine. In fact, during the kind of part where we're doing the initial training with doctors, we actually go through this kind of thing I call the oath. I will promise you I will never practice medicine. I'm not trained to practice medicine. I don't even understand what DHEA stands for. So, and it's kind of a joke, but I really don't. Um, but on the same side, while I promise never to practice medicine, I ask the physicians to promise me not to try to practice business. It's something I probably have a little bit more experience in, and I'm able to leverage it off for a bigger base. And that's why this thing works. The one thing I like about the model is we call it a symbiotic model, right? We're able to work together and make more because we both focus on things that are very valuable. Michelle made a great point. When you look at being successful in a practice as a physician, you make money when you see a patient. What she didn't tell you was the rest of the statement I said to her. Why I want somebody else to do all those things that she shouldn't be doing is because she's making about four to $500 an hour in billing patients. And I can certainly find people for less than that to worry about things like accounting, marketing, technology, and systems. If you want to leverage yourself, whether you do what body allows you can be or not, keep that thing in mind. You make money when you see patients. It's a valuable resource, and you have to optimize your hours to do that. So the other parts is we do also uh, ask our physicians to go through pellet training. Whether or not you do it is up to you uh, as far as uh, administering it in your office. You have to be a part of the A4M. You will within the first, uh, you will have to pass both the oral and written boards within a year of the A4M. You have to take part in continuing medical education, which we even help by buying passports to these events like this for our doctors. You know, the other part I wanted to kind of explain is that, just so you know, these are my friends that came up and talked about Body Logic and B. They're not paid to be here. They just, I asked them if they'd do me a favor and talk to a bunch of physicians because we have great growth opportunities in front of us and we need other really great qualified physicians. So again, you go through all this stuff, and of course you gotta go through the normal stuff. We gotta make sure you're licensed, we go through verifications, um, all the malpractice, successfully meet all the stuff. You will have to interview with Jennifer, all the normal things, and we go through the credentialing once a year, because you gotta kinda do that to make sure everybody's good and ready to go. So all the standard on the requirements is pretty clear. Um, there are two options. We do have a few markets left right now that you can actually open and develop a new practice, like Dr. Porzio has decided in, in San Jose. Um, you know, we talk about the value of a franchise license, which is, has anybody found it very interesting that it's becoming more and more difficult to sell your practices, your traditional practices? Well, let's say you can't sell patients anymore. Where's my lawyer? You can't sell patients anymore. You can't sell charts. You can't sell, all you can do is you can basically, as a practice on traditional healthcare, is you can sell the assets of your practice. That's it. Interesting part about Body Logic MD is there's another thing that a franchise owner owns, which is a franchise license. Now, if you're a business guy, you probably know something pretty important. A franchise license is governed by the Security and Exchange Commission. It's an SEC document. It's a fungible financial document. You can sell that license to another doctor. So at some point in time, like Anita did, uh, one of the practices we have in Encino, there's been a couple practices that have actually gone through now and been sold to another physician. You not only have the ability to sell the assets, tables, tops, laptops, computers, things like that, but you can also sell the franchise license. And that's how you can effectively actually create the value out of all that work you did to build the franchise. 
Um, of course, you get you know we help you find, start, grow. We help you do operational training, all the business support. Repeat repeatedly. You know we don't do the medicine stuff. That's up to you guys. The other part is, and there is a part with owning a franchise. There are different franchises fee. They they range between forty and sixty thousand dollars, but we guarantee them to you. You know, a couple of doctors came up and told you how fast they make it back. We guarantee you're going to make that money back in, in the form of consultations in the first year. I'm going to write you a check for the difference. Nice part for us, I have never had to write that check. It's a nice comfort for you. It's a nice comfort for me because I don't have to write it because we've always been able to achieve that success. The other option, though, is one that we're really also looking for is there are many of our practices that if the value of the practice is based on how many hours we have available for physicians to see patients, there's practices like Greg's and Anita's and others that simply don't have enough hours available. They need another physician to join their practice to see these patients. And it's a nice option. You don't have to do a lot to get going. Like Greg was saying, the practice is already there, the patient space is there, the technology is there. You need to get trained, you need to go through the operational training and the interviews, and you need to be ready to see patients. It's kind of a really cool option for the doctors, and it's a very low cost. It's about $5,000 to do all the administrative stuff to get you set up, and that's it and then you're ready to make money doing it. Um, so as you go through it, feel free, we're gonna hang around for a little bit, talk to us, learn from the doctors. You can always hear more of this information if you go to join.bodyologicmd.com. It has more, of the, all this information is on there about the relations to the practice. And I wanna thank everybody for joining us, and we'll be back for a little bit more if you have more questions, so thanks.